get ready to be shocked. Last quarter, an electric car from Africa that costs just $5,000 completely outsold Tesla. Now hold on a minute. This isn't a mistake. And the details are seriously mind-blowing. For only $5,000, you can now buy a fully electric car with a range of 250 miles. This proves that low cost and real practicality can go hand in hand in the world of electric vehicles. While Elon Musk is busy talking about robot taxis and cyber trucks, a new company from Kenya is doing what Tesla has been promising for years, but never quite managed to achieve, an EV for the ordinary person. Musk should definitely be worried because this isn't just another competitor. It's a totally new approach to what an electric car can be. The company that was supposed to make electric cars accessible to everyone has just been beaten at its own game by a brand that most Americans haven't even heard of yet. And this is more than just shaking up the EV industry. It's rewriting the rules of car building around the world. What's going on in Kenya right now could change how cars are built and sold for the next century, putting pressure on old automakers and tech giants alike. By the end of this story, you'll see exactly how this new car works, why it's so cheap, and how you might even get one before they sell out in the United States. The first shipment of 10,000 cars is already 80% reserved and they haven't even officially come to the U.S. yet. But the most surprising thing isn't the price. It's how this African company solved problems that engineers in Silicon Valley couldn't crack for decades. Detroit, Tokyo, and even Tesla are now rushing to catch up to Nairobi's Mobius Motors. Tesla's stock dropped a whopping 7% when these sales numbers hit Wall Street last week. The company that promised to make electric cars available to everyone has just lost its crown to a brand most Americans have never heard of. And it's not even close. But here's the kicker. The difference between the Mobius E1 and the latest Tesla models is more than just the sticker price. And it's not even about Elon Musk personally. It's a wake-up call for every legacy automaker and tech giant. If they can't figure out how to build and sell electric cars for everyday people at a reasonable price, someone else will. The question is, who has the guts and the brains to take on the status quo? Let me tell you a story. In Kenya, where this journey began, the streets of Nairobi are alive with energy. People from all walks of life hustling, dreaming, and navigating the city's vibrant chaos. But amidst the urban hustle, there's a quiet revolution taking place. It revolves around an unassuming car, the Mobius E1. This little EV has become a symbol of hope for a better, greener, and more affordable future for Africa and beyond. Let's zoom in on two ordinary people whose lives intersect with the Mobius E1. Meet John, a young entrepreneur with big dreams but limited means. He needs a reliable car to help him grow his business. And then there's Sarah, a hard-working mother who wants to break free from the constraints of her old gas-guzzling car and embrace the cleaner, quieter world of electric mobility. Both John and Sarah find themselves at a crossroads. They desire the convenience and freedom that a car offers, but the cost has always been prohibitive. But now, everything is about to change. Enter the Mobius E1, a beacon of hope in the crowded automotive market. Its sleek design turns heads as it effortlessly glides through the city streets. But it's the price tag that truly steals the show, a mere $5,000. It's a number that shatters the conventional wisdom that electric cars are only for the privileged few. With the Mobius E1, affordability becomes a reality for the masses. John and Sarah, like many others, hesitate initially. Can an electric car from Africa really be that good? Can it withstand the rigors of daily commuting on African roads? Doubts linger, but curiosity pulls them in. The moment they step into the car, those doubts evaporate. The interior is surprisingly spacious and modern, and as they take it for a spin, the performance astounds them. The E1 accelerates smoothly, climbs hills with ease, and stays composed even in heavy traffic. The quiet hum of the electric motor is a soothing contrast to the cacophony of the city. It's not just a car, it's a statement. It speaks of progress, innovation, and a commitment to sustainability. 
John and Sarah, along with countless others, become instant fans of the Mobius E-1. Word of mouth spreads like wildfire. The E-1 becomes a cultural phenomenon, a symbol of Africa's rising potential. It's a testament to the ingenuity of African engineers and a challenge to the long-held beliefs about what Africa can accomplish. As the sun sets over Nairobi, casting long shadows across the city, the impact of the Mobius E-1 resonates deeply. It's more than just a car. It's a catalyst for change. It challenges the status quo, shatters expectations, and paves the way for a new era of African innovation. John and Sarah, along with the entire community, look to the horizon with renewed hope and excitement. They know that the future is electric, sustainable, and proudly African. And it all started with a car that dared to dream big and deliver even bigger. So buckle up and join us as we explore the remarkable journey of the Mobius E1, the car that's electrifying Africa and beyond. So how does Mobius pull off this crazy price? The answer is insane. Savings. They cut 90% of the costs of a typical EV by stripping away layers of unnecessary complexity. The E1 is not a high-tech luxury machine. It's a stripped-down, purpose-built EV made for getting people and goods around town while looking cool. We realized the whole Western idea of EVs was wrong, said Mobius founder Joel Jackson. They add extra stuff like giant screens, autopilot, fancy materials when what people really want is cheap, reliable transportation. To achieve this, Mobius completely rethinks what a car needs. The E1 uses a new platform called Monocoque, which cuts the usual 10,000 parts in a Tesla down to just 370 main pieces. This lowers material costs, waste, and especially manufacturing complexity. Fewer parts means fewer steps to assemble, fewer points that can break, and happier customers who deal with fewer issues. It also means less robot welding and software coding, which accounts for half the cost in a typical EV factory. When people think about software, they imagine the coolest apps and AI driving cars. We use simple software to optimize the path of a screw, Jackson says. If we can save on screws, we can save on everything. And that brings us to the heart of Mobius's breakthrough, the battery. Instead of chasing after limited supplies of lithium, cobalt, and nickel, Mobius reinvented the battery chemistry using materials that are abundant and cheap. Their iron-air matrix battery contains no rare earths and uses 90% less water and produces no toxic waste. Why would we import expensive batteries from China when we have iron ore here? Jackson asks. These batteries might not be as energy-dense as lithium, but they're 90% cheaper, last 20 years, and can be made locally. MIT expert Dr. E.J. Jang tested the Mobius battery and found incredible longevity with only 8% capacity loss after 200,000 simulated miles. This means the E1 drives more cheaply and reliably than any EV on the market. The real magic happens in Mobius's factories. They don't need giant gigafactories to build their cars. They run 27 small micro factories across Kenya, each costing just 3 to $5 million to set up. With 